So, I know that I kind of did a review of the uh, movie card players, which are actually in a drawer in here now because I'm done doing the tests. But now, I'm going to talk about another thing that I did. You know what's garbage? DVD packaging. Oh boy, here we go again. He's out of ideas. No, no. You see, after I did the James Bond thing, which I still hate, by the way, why does it have to be so tight? I don't get it. Couldn't there be, like, a, a, a thing to help you grab onto the, you know, the little spindle, you know, this thing in the middle of the disc? Why, why can't there be a slot for that? Like this. Why couldn't they do that? It doesn't make sense. They decided to cover it up and make you touch the disc with your dirty fingers. Or greasy, or whatever. <sighs> and then there's the Back to the Future trilogy set. Well, not this specific one, but the Blu-ray one that, that comes with the digital download codes. Yeah, that one. It is so confusing to get the Blu-ray discs out of there. It feels like you're going to break them. Ugh. You you need you need an, an instruction page to, on how to do it. It's a small page, but still, you need instructions on how to take out the DVDs. No, no, it shouldn't be that. No, it should not be that complicated. You should not have to memorize a certain way of how to. You should not have to remember a certain way. How to, how to open and take out your DVDs, or Blu-rays, Blu-rays more specifically. Take this Holmes and Watson DVD case, open it up, and there you go. That's all you need. You need to push those two things down, and then you can pull the DVD out. That's it. The Back to the Future trilogy DVD set, although it doesn't come with digital download codes, I really wish it did because I mean the Blu-ray version does. It, it doesn't make any sense. But anyways, the DVD set, despite some of its flaws and not being able to technically take it truly anywhere, um, you, it's so much easier. Open up the set, there you go. You, you can, you can just flip through the DVDs, and that's about, that's it, you, that's all you need. Let's take out one. Now, you grab the bottom of the disc, as I find that easiest for this one. Press the middle. Make sure that the DVD is kind of popped out a little bit. And then, there you go. That's it. That's all you need to do. That's it. Let's try two. Okay, this one is. This one doesn't make any sense. Why? Why would they change it? <sighs> so you just press the middle, grab the top. There you go. Th that's all you need to do. The third one is the same way, except that it's the bottom again. And then both the bonus discs. Well, except the last one, which is actually in the middle. They're all the same way. Simple. Easy. And you can just put them away without instructions. The only kind of instructions, technically, is the, is the instructions on how to actually... On the app. And what I mean by that is there's a little pamphlet telling you to install an app to get... The, uh, the latest news on the trilogy, and things happening related to Back to the Future. That's it. And that's how it should be. You don't, you should not need instructions to open DVDs. Oh yeah, and remember how I was talking about the James Bond 50 set just this earlier in the video? Well, the Indiana Jones set is, is even worse, somehow. Or even the same. It's it's worse because it's even a t it's even it's an even tighter fit. I don't get it. 
Why do, why is why is making it so hard to pull out a Blu-ray disc a sport now? I just don't get it. Why is it so important that your that your consumers must have a hard time taking on a Blu-ray movie? Now, this doesn't apply for all Blu-ray movies. I do have a few examples that are actually relatively good, like my 101 Dalmatians Diamond Edition, which I thought was in here. Um, now, let me do another version. Let me do... Okay, I don't know why, but I like having the sleeve on my Blu-ray discs, okay? It just makes them the same size as a DVD case. Don't try bothering to see what the digital code is. I've already used it. I just like to keep the digital codes in there in case they ever fail. Look at this. Look at this. This is easy. You just, you just push the middle and take out the DVD. The same thing with the Blu-ray too. So it's not like they couldn't do this. Another example is the Cars 3 Blu-ray disc that I have. Sure. Wait. Is this from Disney? I never bothered to check if it was from Disney or not. Hmm. Oh well, it's a relatively good movie. I bought it when it was new. Yeah, from the creators of Rio and and I say, yeah. Well, um, what about Rio Two? Yeah, nobody talks about that, do they? <laughs> Yeah, and I have a feeling it's because, well, the Disney sequels basically uh, perpetuated the fact that almost all sequels were going to be bad. Uh, where is the thing? I know that I have a... There it is. Cars 3. Blu-ray, DVD, plus digital. I, I think I've used... Oh. The digital is gone. Hmm.